we want to put this into perspective for you. Obviously, today has been a long day. You've heard us continue to remind you that this event started early this morning with a peaceful protest. We have the opportunity to attend that peaceful protest and gather some of the sights and sounds, talk to people about why they were there and what this moment meant to them. And we want to return you to that package, to that story, in order to give you a little bit of perspective about where this day started from. flooded the streets of downtown Fargo for George Floyd. He's got, been having for too long. He's got to stop. He's got to come. He got to stop. We're here to voice up for opinion. A lot of voices be heard. The whole world is listening now. I don't condone the violence because I, I, I don't want to see cities burned, but we have a movement now. We have power now that we haven't had in a long time. So this matters. We stand here. We're marching for solidarity. To show that our lives, my son's life, my husband, my brothers, my friends, their lives matter. Protesters made the trek from City Hall to the police department. Organizers keeping it peaceful. Why is it important to be here today? For change, of course. Yeah, obviously, everyone's important. I mean, important. look all these people out here. It's change time. People need to stand up and stand together. You know, it's great to see people of all backgrounds out here together. It's real emotional. Why is this important? It is, because we, all we ask for is equality. We just want what's equal to us. It's important for our youth. It's important for everybody out here. It's very important. The rat can stop if they do the right thing. No justice. No in Fargo, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live.